Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT100 Pro 100 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. The AT100 Pro is one of LDG's most feature packed tuners, so this video series will help you get the most out of everything the AT100 Pro has to offer. Before we show you how to install and use the AT100 Pro, let's take a brief tour of the AT100 Pro's features. The AT100 Pro front panel features two LED bar graph displays that show power and SWR levels, as well as report the operating status of the AT100 Pro. Seven front panel buttons allow you to control the functions of the AT100 Pro. On the rear panel, the TX-SO239 connects to your radio, and there are two antenna jacks. The AT100 Pro has a built-in two-port antenna switch. Here's the DC input jack, and this jack provides integration with ICOM and Yaesu radios. Now we'll take a look at how to install the AT100 Pro. Installation is quick and easy. First, turn off your radio. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack on the radio to the TX jack on the AT100 Pro. If your radio has more than one antenna jack, connect the coaxial cable to the antenna 1 jack. Connect your primary antenna's coaxial feed line to the antenna 1 jack on the back of the AT100 Pro. If you have a second antenna, you may connect its feed line coax to the antenna 2 jack. LDG recommends that you also connect your AT100 Pro to station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Connect the supplied DC coax plug to the DC power jack and connect to a 12 volt DC supply. The center pin is positive. We'll show you how to hook up the ICOM and Yaesu interface cables in a later video in this series. We're now ready to begin using the AT100 Pro. Turn on your radio. Select an operating frequency and mode. If your transmitter does not have an SWR rollback circuit, turn down the transmit power to 25 watts or less. Press the antenna button to make sure you're transmitting on the desired antenna. The LED display points to the selected antenna. Next, press the funk button followed by the C down or auto button to make sure the tuner is in full automatic mode. The LEDs will blink like this to indicate full auto. If not, press funk and C down again. Now that the tuner is in full automatic mode and the desired antenna is selected, simply transmit. And if the SWR is too high, the AT100 Pro will automatically begin tuning. On sideband and AM modes, keep talking while tuning. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle is done. The LEDs will indicate a match. If you had previously reduced your transmit power, you may now restore it to its previous level. The first time you tune on a particular frequency, it may take a few seconds to find a match. After that, the next time you tune on that same frequency, the AT100 Pro will recall the tuning settings from memory instantly. That covers the basic installation and operation of the AT100 Pro. Stay tuned for advanced operations and interfacing to ICOM and Yaesu radios.